And on Friday, the Food and Drug Administration granted accelerated approval for a new drug that would slow the progression of Alzheimer's disease in the early stages. Lakembi is the second Alzheimer's medication to be approved in nearly two decades. Joining us now is Dr. John Burleson, a neurologist who has been an investigator on numerous trials related to Alzheimer's disease. Welcome and thank you for joining us here on KB Midday. My pleasure, thank you. First of all, tell us why is this drug considered so promising? Well, like a drug that came out about a year and a half ago, it's, it's new in that it seems able to remove amyloid protein from the brain, which is one of the hallmarks in terms of what is associated with Alzheimer's disease. The drugs that came out before its predecessor a year and a half ago were, avail were able to help with symptoms, slow, slow down symptom progression, but really didn't seem to get to the root cause of the disease, at least come to the root cause of what we think is causing the disease. And so we said earlier that this drug is for early onset, right? So can you explain that further? Well, it's for early uh, level of symptoms. Early onset is what we think about in terms of people getting the disease before the age of 65. Okay. But when we think of early uh, stage disease, we think of mild cognitive impairment, which is when people have cognitive symptoms but not yet having functional impairment or the mild stages of dementia when they're starting to have difficulty with driving or managing finances. We call that the early uh, or mild stages of dementia. So it looks like it'll be appropriate for mild cognitive impairment or mild dementia due to Alzheimer's disease. This seems pretty significant, especially for families and loved ones affected by the disease. Right, it's a scary disease. Uh, people in their family who have seen grandparents then parents and it's very worrisome. So it is exciting to be able to have something new that we can hopefully offer to really make more of a difference than what we've been able to do so far. Having said that, what are the risks of Lakembi? One of the major risks is uh, something called ARIE, A-R-I-E, which uh, stands for Amyloid Related Imaging Abnormality. It's a mouthful, yeah. uh, but that is, uh, it is edema or swelling in the brain or bleeding in the brain. Oof. And this is a, it happens in a small number of patients, but it is something that we are aware of and need to watch for. And we can see it most easily with brain MRI. I'm sure a lot of people are wondering, you know, it's a new drug, but this new drug, it's expensive, doctor. Right, I haven't seen an official statement, but it looks like it, it may be, they may be looking at over $20,000 a year, maybe $26,000 a year. Yeah, I don't think a lot of people can afford that. So what's the process of trying to get that drug when it's so out of reach for so many? Well, this is still very, it was only approved just the other day. So right. the FDA has approved it. Uh, Medicare has, or CMS has made a decision based on their previous drug that it will be, it will be covered in, only as part of a clinical trial. And so uh, it right now, or when it becomes able to be prescribed, we can't write the prescription yet. It's gotta go through steps, manufacturing and whatnot. Gotcha. But once it is available in, in pharmacies and in infusion centers, um, it, it may be out of pocket for the time being. So what is that timeline of when it will hit the market? Yeah, I don't know. I, I, would, I would estimate at least a couple of months. Okay. But it depends on, on, I don't know what the drug companies have done in terms of started with manufacturing, with contacting inf infusion centers. It's an infusion, so you can't take it home and take it there. You it's have to be go done. to a facility. Exactly. To that. Okay, Dr. Burleson. And so if you guys have any questions, the Alzheimer's Association has resources and more information. Just go to their website at alz.org. Was there anything else I forgot to ask you that people need to know about this new drug? Uh, it's, it's new. It's brand new. And so um, we're still learning a lot about uh, when it will be available and, and the pricing, as we, as we said. So I think it's early, too early to go to your call neurologist and say, hey, I wanted this drug today. If you have concerns about your memory, please start with primary care. Uh, speak with your existing doctors and talk about your concerns, and they can start the process. Uh, there are things out there that cause memory loss that aren't Alzheimer's disease. And so don't worry that just because you might forget something here and there, it's not automatically a sign that you have Alzheimer's. And your primary care physician can probably offer maybe some life uh, changes that can help, right? Before you go to your neurologist. Right, talk about healthy living, yes, healthy right. diet, healthy exercise patterns. Uh, and then if there is a, a, a medical cause of memory loss, well, begin the testing, get some blood tests, maybe get a brain scan. There are things that, need, that, that can be done before this drug is even a consideration. And like you told me before, there are six million people? About six million Americans with Alzheimer's disease. That's a lot. And not all have been diagnosed, and there are probably more who have mild cognitive impairment due to Alzheimer's disease. So there's a lot out there. And it's exciting that we have this, but we still need to get some processes in place ac across the country to be able to offer drugs to the appropriate people. Yeah. First uh, FDA approved drug in more than 20 years. I guess 
the second one in, in 20 years. So. Correct. Uh, uh, Helm was approved about a year and a half ago, but this is, uh, this is the second one after, after there that. There you go. All right, Dr. Burleson, thank you so much.